Hello and welcome to the first Bluestream Multicast tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be looking at the configuration of the SG300 series Cisco switch. Our first step is to make sure that we are working in the same IP range as the switch. Simply do this by going to the Network and Sharing Center. Now click the Ethernet link on your wired connection to your Cisco switch, then double click the Internet Protocol version 4 to enter the properties. Here I will click use the following IP address. To make sure my laptop is in the same range as the Cisco switch, I will set my laptop IP address to 192.168.1.250. I will then use the tab key to automatically fill in the subnet. Default gateway can remain blank. Click OK on both windows to save the settings and then exit the remaining two windows. Now we can make our way to the Cisco switch on the IP address of 192.168.1.254. Now you'll be asked for the default username and password of the switch, which is Cisco Cisco. Now you will have to set a new password of the switch by confirming the old and typing a new password in twice. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have kept my password to Cisco. I have also disabled the password strength enhancement for this. The first thing we need to do on the switch is enable layer 3 mode. You can do this by going to Administration, System Settings, then clicking the L3 option. Once you've done this, click Apply. The switch will let you know that it will automatically reboot into Layer 3 mode. Click OK. This can take a few minutes, so we'll jump cut to when the switch has finished resetting itself. Now that the switch has reset itself, we'll again need to set a new password. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will again use the default username and password Cisco Cisco and set my new password to Cisco. Now we're going to enable Jumbo Frames. We're going to go to Port Management, Port Settings, Enable Jumbo Frames, and then click Apply. Next on the list is Bridge Multicast Filtering Status. We want to go to Multicast, Properties, and enable Bridge Multicast Filtering Status. Then simply click Apply. Now head to the IPv4 multicast configuration. Click on IGMP snooping and then make sure IGMP snooping status is enabled and then click Apply. Now select the only IGMP snooping table. Click Edit. Now we just want to make sure that IGMP snooping status is enabled, immediate leave is enabled and IGMP query status is enabled. Once you've clicked all three of these, click Apply. Now you want to go over to Administration. You want to go to File Management, then Copy slash Save Configuration. Then simply click Apply. Now we just want to go to the Reboot option. Click Reboot, and it will notify you that it's going to restart the switch. Just click OK. And now, once the switch has finished rebooting, you have a switch fully configured and ready to use with Multicast.